Hello and welcome to Henry Ruler's Movie Reviews where I take a look at films that I've previously never seen and today we're going to be doing something a bit different and starting my brand spanking new feature National Pride where I'll take a look at a film from a nation whose cinematic contributions perhaps may not have gotten as much notice as others on the National Day of their country. Today is Gambian Independence Day, marking their independence from the UK on the 18th of February 1965. The Gambia is a country located in West Africa, sandwiched between Senegal and boasting an array of wonderful wildlife in their national parks, along with the Gambian River. It may be the smallest country on continental Africa, but it's far from the least enticing. There are a diverse range of different cultures located in the Gambia, with as many as 24 languages spoken. Alright, so let's have a look at what we're watching. So, I've chosen The Hand of Fate since it's won a few awards, and while it has no ratings at all to speak of on IMDb or Letterboxd, the array of options regarding Gambian cinema weren't looking that promising. So, I've taken a punt on this one. So anyway, let's get cracking and uh, give this a watch. So the film begins with a grown ass adult man named Baba overseeing the birth of his child. And his wife is 12 years old. And after giving birth, he vows to never let this happen again. Cut to 14 years later and his brother Mamadou uh, suggests in order to be better off that they sell his daughter to marry a Gambian man working as a farmer in Catalonia. And while he rebuffs the idea at first, wanting his daughter to become educated and get a good career, after some convincing he relents and decides to go through with it without the knowledge of either his wife or his daughter herself. This is a film with a touchy subject matter about child brides and it's aimed to criticise this practice, I should say, and rightfully so. However, the execution of the idea leaves a lot to be desired. Baba seemed set on giving his daughter a future, but then throws his morals out the window when cash is flashed in his face, not literally, and seemed very quick to change his mind about child brides only when his wife had given birth aged 12. Either this is a poorly developed character or his opinion is easily swung. And the character of Mamadou is honestly a really unlikable person, though it's clearly intentional. He doesn't care about the welfare of his niece, uh, only about money, and even attempts to rip off his brother by taking the majority of the dowry. The rest of the performances are pretty competent. Uh, I didn't mind Mariama Coley as Aminata, the girl who's uh, going to be sold as a child bride. I think she portrays the character with conviction and does her role justice. The editing though, in particular the sound design, is very messy. Different shots have completely different quality of audio and it can be distracting at points. Where is my brother Baba? Without so much as a good morning, how are you? Did you sleep well? The cinematography can be a bit amateur at times as well. Also, the ending felt incredibly preachy and forced. It's just a bit of a cop-out. It's just like, oh, I don't know how to tie this up. Uh, it was a bit of a bum note to end on, unfortunately. Though some of the music was quite engrossing. I'm gonna give this... 5 out of 10. I think this is an interesting film and it does tackle a very difficult issue, but it does so with a heavy-handed approach at times. Having said that, uh, shortly afterwards, the president at the time made child marriage and arranged marriages illegal in the Gambia, so I guess some good came of the film, though I don't know if that's in any way connected considering the law was changed three years after the film was released. But you never know. In any case, I'm glad it's been outlawed. I thought there was a certain charm to this, and I'll certainly keep a lookout for future productions from The Gambia. And if you're at all intrigued by the film, uh, go and support the director by watching it 
uh, on their YouTube channel. And that's everything, really. If you've seen the film, let me know what you thought of the film. And I'll look forward to doing more of these in future for different countries. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And happy Gambian Independence Day.